Animals in the world have distinct ways of giving birth, and only our closest relatives in the animal kingdom do it like us. Depending on the species, babies can come from the male or female, and the process of laying and hatching eggs varies widely. So let's explore some unusual yet amazing animal births. Before we begin, click that like button to inspire us. Moreover, subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell to be inspired by this type of ultimate fact. The Hedgehog When a baby hedgehog enters the world, it's a tiny, blind ball of spikes waiting to be unleashed. That's because when it's born, sharp protuberances and waiting are tucked just underneath the skin. Within a few hours of exiting its mother's womb, and it's surrounded by upwards of six siblings, a hoglet's signature quills will start to make their debut. Hoglets are blind for the first month of their life, but that doesn't stop them from wrestling with their brothers and sisters over a prime spot at mom's milk bar. White as snow when they're born, the hoglets will also begin taking on the physical appearance of an adult hedgehog with the darkening of their quills. The Giraffe A baby giraffe enters the world with a thud. We know giraffes are one of the most extreme animals in the world size-wise. Females can reach heights pushing almost 5 meters. It's one of the reasons when, after a gestation period of up to 15 months, a baby giraffe gets welcomed into the world by being unceremoniously dropped 1.5 meters onto its noggin. Much of a giraffe's pregnancy is done as discreetly as possible, since out in the wild and surrounded by predators, it's the smart move to avoid looking like a slow target, carrying up to 68 kilograms of extra baby weight. Giraffe labor is not a quick process, and it can take days before the calf being born. The Kangaroo Marsupials aren't normal. Right from day one, these creatures have a strange life. A few months after conception, the embryonic kangaroo baby emerges from the kangaroo mommy's womb like a little pink lima bean. It has to find its way into its mama's pouch by sort of climbing, sort of wriggling up her fur. Once there, it can spend another few months suckling on the pouch nipple and growing into a proper roux, which, as we all know, is called a joey. The Panda When spring rolls around, it's time for panda mating season. A panda pregnancy can last anywhere from 100 to 180 days and result in one or two very tiny cubs being born in a den safe from the outside world. Despite an adult panda's large size, its offspring can fit in the palm of your hand. Cubs usually weigh in at 85 to 142 grams and another cute animal births in the world. After eight weeks, a cub will open its eyes and continue nursing over the year as it gains upwards of 34 kilograms of weight. The Hammerhead Shark If you thought that immaculate conceptions are only for messiahs, prepare to be amazed. As it turns out, virgin births can also happen to wild animals like sharks. It's called parthenogenesis, and it is more or less like giving birth to a clone of yourself because you combine the DNA from a couple of eggs to make one zygote with the right number of chromosomes pregnant with no daddy. There are species of geckos and lizards that do it, and a few others, but the coolest example has to be the shark. Because hey, we want to make sure there will always be a shark week. The Rhinoceros Thankfully for mother rhinos, their offspring have no horns when born. After a gestation period that can last up to 18 months, depending on the species, an expectant rhino will give birth to a calf that can weigh anywhere from 25 to 45 kilograms. That's one incredible birth. With no horns at birth, the mother rhino acts like an all-natural tank for its child. Wild rhinos are also known for being solitary animals, but the mother and calf form a tight bond in the three years they're together. The seahorse. Besides the astounding visual aspect of a seahorse giving birth, seahorses like to think outside the traditional pregnancy box by giving males the honor of carrying his life partner's eggs in a pouch on his belly. The male seahorse has unfertilized eggs in his pouch, where he does one of his roles in the reproductive process by fertilizing them. The pouch isn't just about hauling eggs around either, it's an organ that acts like a thermostat, controlling temperature and water salinity all while turning on genes that can carry nutrients and bolster his immune system. The Zebra Like other animals with long gestation periods, a baby zebra enters the world a little clumsy but ready to get to business of surviving in the wilds of Africa. When a foal is born after 11 to 12 months in its mother's womb, its mom may still only be a youngster herself. Zebras can become pregnant by the time they're a year old. Bulls are born usually at night to avoid predators, 
with legs that are nearly the size of an adult zebra. Usually social animals that favor safety in numbers, a dam in labor will temporarily leave the herd to give birth. The seal. After a nine to 10 month long pregnancy, a single pup is born. What comes next is an action that's critical to the survival of the pup. The mother spins around to smell its offspring and allow the pup to smell her. If the pup passes the smell test, it can begin helping itself to milk from the mother. To help build up blubber, the milk is extremely fatty. And for one month following the birth, the pup feasts while its mother stays by its side and doesn't indulge in any food at all. The Marine Turtle Most species of marine turtles need to make a birthing pilgrimage to lay their eggs on land and when you take an animal designed for life in the open water and stick it on the beach to deposit 100 eggs, it can be an extremely demanding process. Pregnant females drag themselves, usually under the cover of darkness, across the beach of choice to the high tide line. After a month, the baby turtles begin to hatch, using the only tooth they'll ever have in their life to break through the surrounding shell. After crawling out from under the sand, the hatchlings point themselves in the direction of the water and start their march to their underwater domain. The dolphin. Dolphin mothers have their hands full from the time of conception and for years after the calf is born. First off, dolphins don't stick to a biological clock breeding season routine. Anytime, any place, dolphin loving is always a possibility. After a 12 month gestation period, a calf weighing between 11 to 18 kilograms is born underwater, usually tail first, roughly 1.2 meters long. A dolphin calf comes out of the womb already pre-programmed to understand basic scientific principles. Like any newborn, dolphin calves can be on the clumsy side. This can result in younger dolphins getting used to their blowhole, misjudging distances to the water surface, and sticking their whole head out for a breath of fresh air. The duck-billed platypus. The platypus is usually up there on any list of the most incredible animals. It's just that sort of creature. Just about everything about it screams rule breaker. It's a mammal, like us, which means that among other things it's warm blooded and the female nurses its young with milk. But it's also one of the very few members of the monotreme group of mammals, which means that it's oviparous. It's not born like you were, it was hatched from an egg. The African Cichlid Most parents want what's best for their kids and will do whatever it takes to help and protect them. Some parents take this to an extreme. Like, for example, the mouth-brooding African cichlids. These fish figure the safest place for their young is in their mouths, so the mommy keeps them there after her eggs have been laid. Sometimes, she even keeps them safe in her mouth after they've hatched, too. Now that's helicopter parenting and also an amazing birth in animal kingdom. The Suriname Toad There isn't an award for the worst animal in the world, but if there was, would have a winner right here. The Suriname toad gestates its young in the flesh of its own back. It's just gross. The eggs are laid, then the male shoves them into the mom's back with his mouth, where she absorbs them into her skin. There, the little brood of nasties grow for about four months before digging their way out again as fully formed baby toads. It's just awful, and it makes my skin crawl. The Hyena Hyenas push their babies through their pseudo-penises. So, hyenas are weird. The females have a penis. Well, not really. Technically, it's a clitoris that can grow up to about 18 centimeters long, so it only looks like one that she pees through. We won't even get into how she gets pregnant in the first place. But just focus on how terrible it must be to squeeze a baby hyena out of your penis-like pee-pee hole. But as you weep for the mommy hyena, maybe share a year or two for the babies, over half of whom she suffocates to death while trying to be born because the not a penis opening is so very small and poorly built for, you know, birthing through. The sea otter. It's a wet welcome for sea otter pups born on the water. It's a rule that's strictly adhered to. So in the rare event of twins being born after a seven month gestation cycle, mom will pick up the one she thinks is strongest and abandon the other. Weighing in at approximately 2.25 kilograms, Pups are born on the water covered in a fur called natal pelage that acts as a natural life jacket and helps keep a pup afloat. The Pot-Bellied Pig Pot-Bellied Pigs are big enough, but when pregnant, they're enormous. They're so big, their many teats drag along the ground, which is not the worst thing that will happen to those things. Wait until the babies are born. Then it'll be pure teat punishment. 
Gestation is only about four months, but after that, a dozen hungry piglets will shoot out like a fat little teat-loving projectile. They need to be quick, not only to beat their siblings to the teats, but also to avoid being squashed by their obese mother. The Orangutan Orangutans, oldest animal in the world, are practically human. Genetically speaking, we have 97% of the same DNA. The similarities carry over into a lot of things, including reproduction. They have a monthly menstrual cycle, they gestate babies for nine months, and they deliver in more or less the same as humans do. Except for one thing, they eat the amniotic sac right off their baby and lick it clean. The Llama Llamas are practically born ready to have their babies, which is called a creus. Female llamas can get pregnant as early as four to six months of age. They gestate for about a year, which means that at one and a half years old, a llama could be pregnant for two thirds of its young life. And then it's nothing but trauma because a baby llama weighs somewhere between 8 and 18 kilograms at birth, which can't be easy to deliver. And after that, your female llama is likely to do it all over again because the act of copulation makes her ovulate. So not only are llamas born ready, but they also spend most of their lives pregnant. The camel. A baby camel has a flat hump when it's first born, maybe to help with the whole squeezing out of its mother thing. After all, it's hardly enough to deliver an 18 kilogram baby after being pregnant for a year, especially one that comes out head and feet first and is ready to start walking within an hour. Having a hump to get in the way would be just cruel. Have you ever seen any births in real life? Don't forget to let us know in the comments section. That is all for now. Like always, if you enjoyed it, be sure to give us a big thumbs up and leave us some love in the comments section. To keep up to date with all of our awesome videos, be sure to hit subscribe and turn your notifications on to never miss a thing. Until next time, do take good care of yourself.